Have you ever found yourself constantly creating items in the binder and repeatedly adjusting their settings? Or have you ever wondered how Scrivener's built-in project templates include those convenient sheets for creating character sketches and more? Document templates, no matter the project, are a great way to save time, ensure consistency across your project, and today we're going to learn how to set them up in Scrivener. Let's begin. Note this demo is on macOS. You can find the Windows PC demo by clicking the link above and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned into the channel. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do real quick is open up Scrivener. And when Scrivener is open, we're gonna go ahead and open up our novel template, which is right here. So we'll go ahead and double click that or we can click create, doesn't matter, either way. And we'll open that up. And we'll just, for the sake of simplicity, we'll just call that novel template and we'll save it to our desktop. There it is right there, popped up right here. We're gonna go ahead and open this up, make it bigger. And then we're gonna go ahead and navigate to our template sheets right here in the bottom left corner. Now real quick, I'm gonna close up some of these binder items here so they're not in the way. And right here is our template sheets, already set up and ready to go. Let's look and see what's inside here. So if we open it up in the novel template, we have two templates already set up for us. We have our character sketch, which includes things like a name, age, location, role in the story, all the way down to our notes. And we also have a setting sketch, which allows us to sketch out a setting. So if you're looking for a quick start and you haven't started your project yet, the novel template is a great place to begin. It's already got your templates folder set up. You got a character sketch, a setting sketch, and of course you can go in and add your own as we'll see in later videos. Now let's say you started a project with the blank template instead, which doesn't have the template folder set up. Let's go ahead and open that up right now. I'm gonna close this out for now. And we're gonna come to our blank template here. And we're gonna double click that, create a new one. And for, once again, for simplicity, we're gonna call this a blank template. Oops. And click create. And there we go. Now it's opened up here. We'll make that full size again so we can see it. And you'll notice right away, we have no template sheet in our binder here at all. So what do we need to do? We need to create that templates folder. And this is gonna be really useful for you if you haven't already set one up and you started say from this blank template or from another project that the, that the templates folder is not automatically set up for you. So let's go in here. I'm gonna click our research folder and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder here. I'm gonna come down to the bottom left corner here, click that right there. That's gonna create that folder. I'm gonna call it templates. or template sheets, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and set it up. So to do that, we have to navigate to our projects, project settings right here. We'll click that, you can see there is a keyboard shortcut there, option command comma, we'll click that. And that will take us to, that'll take us to our project settings here. From there, we need to locate special folders, which is right here. It's third from the bottom. We'll click that and you can see right now we have templates folder, but no templates folder has been selected. And it's really easy to do. We can click this right here and you can see it already can tell it's right there. So we'll go ahead and click it. And as soon as we click OK, you're gonna notice over here that that icon is gonna change. So let's go ahead and return to our binder and see what happens. Click OK, boom, there it is. All set up, ready to go. You can see the icon has changed. It's kinda of hard to see, but we'll zoom that in there so you can see it. And as long as you see that icon there, that means that it has been set up correctly and you're ready to go ahead and add in your document templates. Now with the templates folder set up, I can now create or add any template I like. I'm going to demonstrate in this video how to share or move templates across projects. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna take the templates that exist in our novel template here and bring them over to our blank project. So real quick, I'm gonna put these side by side. 
Okay, we've got these side by side. Now, if you look on the left, we have our novel template and on the right, we have our blank template here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our template sheets from our novel template project to our blank template project, okay? And it's really easy to do. All it takes is a drag and drop. So we'll go ahead and drag this over, drop it into our template sheets. And once again, with our setting sketch, we'll drag this over and drop it into template sheets. And there we go. They have just been brought over to this project. We can actually close out our novel template. We can make the blank template bigger. And as you can see, they are both there. Now I don't have a characters folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add one. And once again, we can just add this folder. We can call it characters, okay? We could even change the icon real quick. There it is, characters. And we'll use the photo like that, looking very similar to our novel template, right? And then we'll go ahead and add that template by clicking the little plus icon up here. In fact, we're clicking the little arrow next to it. And then we're gonna click character sketch. And we'll see, boom, there it is. It duplicated that for us just how we wanted it to. And of course, if we made any changes to this, those changes would be reflected in every new character sketch that we make. So that's something to consider as you go forward that any changes you want to make, ideally try to get those in beforehand so you don't have to go back and change your old ones, right? Thanks for watching fellow writers. Be sure to check out the rest of this video series for more great tips on how to leverage document templates. And if you're new to Scrivener or just need a refresher on how to use its many features, I have a lot of free resources available for you. Head over to my channel page to find more content focused on turning writers into authors. And if you're eager for more, sign up for my newsletter. You'll find the link on my channel page. Don't wait. Start your writing adventure today by subscribing to my channel. It's never too late to get started. Thanks for watching. Happy writing.